Okay, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to get better at Battlefield 1. Now, I'm an old school Battlefield fan. I've been playing since Battlefield 1942. And it was a lot of fun back then. I've had a lot of experience with all the other Battlefield games over the years. Uh, and I'm glad to be getting back into it with Battlefield 1 because last one I played was Battlefield 4. And no, it was not fun. At least for a while. And when I got back into it, it was just sniper heaven all of a sudden. So let's start with the basics here real quick. Let's go to squads. Now, this is the screen you're going to start off with in conquest mode. We're going to talk about that specifically. This is the basic battlefield mode. Now, it's best to pick a squad because if you do, your squad mates will help you out in battle uh, in multiple ways. For one, when you're on the main map here, <coughs> You'll see red dots for the red enemies, which are which are your enemies against you, and you'll see blue dots, which are your teammates. <clears throat> which you'll see green ones. And if you're in a squad, those will be your your squad members. The cool thing is, is that you can spawn on them. Okay, so you get back in the action a lot faster, a lot quicker than going back to the main base. If you don't have a squad, or you got some friends online you want to play with them, just create a squad. It's real easy. <clears throat> I believe there's one for every uh, letter of the alphabet. I think. So, you can create a number of squads in the game already, but you can only have one yourself, or, or with your friends at least. But even then, try to try to get into a squad with, a, with a random people, because they will still help you. Okay, this is Battlefield, this is not Call of Duty. All right, Call of Duty, everyone's a Rambo in that game. This game, everyone helps each other out. That's the only way you're going to win the game. Okay, so we got that set up. Now I'm going to go over some basic tips real quick on how to get better at the game. Let's spawn in here real quick. Now, just a basic tip. Learn to use vehicles. There's some that are scattered out the, throughout the uh, level. Some of these maps, uh, well actually all these maps are really big, but some of these maps have uh, vehicles like this one, some have motorcycles and things like that, so keep that in mind. Now if there are no vehicles to use, which will happen, you can just run the other side of the map. Now, many people get discouraged when they have to run the one side of the map to the other. They think it takes too long. Well, I'm going to do that right now because it doesn't take that long at all, really. It takes maybe a minute, two minutes to get across the map. As long as it ever took me to get across the map, it's maybe about four or five minutes, which is not that long because the matches last about a half hour each. Well, it seems like a long time, it goes by fast when you know what you're doing. Here, make our way up here. <clears throat> yeah, the reason why the maps are so big in this game is because, uh, you know, it's it's 64 player matches. Okay, it's 32 on 32. Okay, it's not six on six or eight on eight. This is like epic warfare here. So you got a lot of team members with you, and you got a lot of team members against you. So you're going to have to learn to use that to your advantage. The good thing is, as long as you stay with your team and help them out and follow them into battle they'll back you up. Okay, they won't just stand there being stupid, they will back you up. Plus, another thing about the Battlefield audience is that they're very nice people. They will help you out no matter what. They will be there for you, they will revive you in battle, they will resupply your ammo, and they will heal you up when you need it. They will be there for you. In case you find yourself dying a lot, well, that's part of the course. As you can see, I'm on the other side of the map already. To the combat area. Yeah, see? So, and that's the average size of the map. I gotta redeploy. Let's go back to the map here. Alright. Let me go back to my home base here real quick. Okay, another thing to remember in Battlefield is that you're going to die a lot, okay? Even when your teammate's helping you out, you're still going to die a lot, okay? So don't get frustrated. Because I've seen people play this game for five minutes or even 20 seconds, and then they get frustrated because they died three times in a row, and they just say, fuck it, and don't come back. No, don't do that. Keep playing. Just keep playing. Don't worry if you die. Just keep going, okay? Because it's all part of learning. Everyone dies a lot in this game. 
Okay, if you look at the scoreboard at the end of each match, everyone dies at least 10 or 15 times in this in, in a map. Okay, so it's not like it's uncommon. Everyone dies a lot. Even the best players out there, they still get their asses handed to them. Okay, so please don't get frustrated. Just keep trying. Is even the best players in here? They die a lot too. Another tip. Try to stay in cover any way you possibly can. Like these buildings here, just run right through them as best as you can. Try to stay out of sight. You know, with the wide open maps, you don't have this option a whole lot, but you do have some spots where you can hide. So keep that in mind whenever you're running around. Because the more you're the more you're exposed, the faster you're gonna die. Because there's a lot of snipers in this game. Here. A flame trooper kit is available near your location. Ah, yes, another tip. Look for special kits around. Usually people go for them first, but if you're next to one, grab it. This is the flamethrower one. Yes, it's fun to use. It's got a limited ammo, too, so you can just keep firing away all you want. You also have an insane amount of health sometimes, too, so... Some of these kits, there's one that gives you a big-ass minigun, and the guy's insanely armored. Yeah, you, you'll be dealing with that, too, and you'll see those guys running around. Let me find some more things that can burst some stuff for you. It's good to find these kits, too, because they, they give you a little bit of a leg up on the enemy. Let's see if I can burn this troll up here real quick, just as an example. Let's see if it works. Oh, I got the wall for the two. Cool. Alright, so we got that. Redeploy. So yeah, look for those special kits that are running around, okay? It will tell you when there's one nearby. Keep an eye out for it, because if you do, you get that, it'll give you a boost in the game, so it'll help you get a leg up in the other team. All right. Let's get to another important thing about Battlefield. On most of the maps, everything is destructible. This one's a bit of a bit iffy. Some buildings are, some buildings are, so you're going to have to keep an eye out for that. But on most of the other maps, you can just blow stuff up where you want. Like, for instance. <clears throat> so let me take out the other one. <clears throat> we got a trolley over there. Let me take that out, too. Give it a range. And I shot through the damn thing. Well, that's good. There we go. See, almost everything is destructible in Battlefield. And the advantage of that is that in some of these maps, some of the bigger ones and more wide open ones, you've got nowhere to hide. Like, you think you can probably sit in a corner of some of these buildings? Or if someone else is doing that, you could bust out a grenade launcher and just blow a hole in the wall and take them out. So, yeah, camping does not work in this game. And usually what you'll see happen after a while is you'll see guys just lying on the ground like this. And I'll be sitting there with sniper rifles and other guns and will take you out before you even know it. <laughs> There's just no place to hide. So keep that in mind as well. And I think that's basically it for the simple tips. Oh yeah, one more thing. In Conquest, I forgot to mention this part. It's basically domination on an epic scale. Usually it's between 5 and 7 points on each map, depending on what map you're on. You'll see a flag post like this one. Okay? And these will have a flag on them. This one doesn't have it because I'm, I'm in a private match right now. But when you get a match started, you'll see a flag go up this, and that's how you know you're in a certain spot. Also, when you go back to the map, let me redeploy real quick. You don't see it here, but you'll see different points on your map that are the bases, and you'll see 
uh, blue ones and red ones. The blue ones are the ones you've caught, and of course the red ones are the ones that your uh, your opponents have caught. One important thing to remember is that you're constantly fighting over these bases. Like even if you caught a base, you don't have that base for good. The other team can show up there and take over that base again. Next thing you know, it oh you got to go back over there and do it again. So you got to keep that in mind. This game keeps you busy. Okay, you're not standing around doing nothing. You're actually doing a lot in this game. But you know it's part of the fun. You, know, you do a lot of stuff in here. And that's basically it. Those are just simple tips. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'll show off one vehicle real quick since this is already here. Use vehicles to get around faster. You're not always going to be available, but when you got them, go ahead and use them if you can. Because again, maps are pretty big, but if you know how to get around, you can get you can get across them pretty fast. And the vehicles here are pretty simple to drive. They're not that hard. If you play Grand Theft Auto or Halo, you know exactly how to drive this stuff. A sentry kit is available near your location. A sentry kit, where's that at? We have here. What's this? One? This one. These the armored one. Hang on. Ooh, daddy like. Yeah, this is the other one. Everyone uses this one. No joke. Seriously, this guy is insanely armored. He's hard to take out. Now, whatever the armor is on everyone else, this guy has got an insane amount of armor. So, if you can find this sentry kit, grab it. It helps a lot when you're in battle. And don't be afraid to reload often, by the way, because this is going to happen a lot in this game. Even with characters like this. Okay. Okay, so with that being said, hope you found this helpful, and look forward to more videos, because I'm going to do one on all every single class in the game, as well as some professional tips on how to be better at the game, and what to watch out for. Alright, so that being said, you all take care.